see what IPOP actually submitted to the U.S. Department that really shocked the president. The presidency has accused the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, of inciting Nigerians' allies against them. In view of this, the secessionist group has finally made public the documents they actually sent to the U.S. Department that is making the presidency confused and having headache. They revealed that their document was dubbed, dubbed Nigeria, a history of serial genocide and the urgent need for U.S. intervention. The document was presented by the leader of the group, Unamde Kanu. Read the document below. Has shall be demonstrated. This Islamization is by no, both states and by non-state actors that enjoyed the patronage and tacit support of the state. It is such that may lead to another genocide that will offend the conscience of nations, including particularly the United States, which possesses the singular capacity to intervene with lasting solutions. The Hausa Fulani are predominantly Muslims and live in the northern Sahelian part of Nigeria. The Yoruba, who lives in the southwest, are split and more almost evenly between Muslim and Christians. Yoruba Muslim profess a moderate form of Islam as opposed to the more fundamentalist Sunni practice observed in northern Nigeria, and from which the Boko people and Fulani headmen, Islamic terrorists, emanated. There is a small sheer minority amongst the majority Sunni Muslims that are ruling Nigeria. The Biafrans, the concentrated piece of this submission, inhabit the southern eastern part of Nigeria with a population of over 70 million, about 50 million of them. The Igbos speak the Igbo language and are predominantly Christians, but with rapidly growing Jewish minority. Their land is blessed with human and mineral resources, including hydrocarbons. Biafrans are very commercially inclined, industrious, and are given to scholarly and professional pursuits. They had an established democratic institution even before colonization by the British. They are very republican and egalitarian in nature and coexisted peacefully with their neighbors prior to colonization and their amalgamation with the rest of Nigeria in 1914. A total of 3.1 million Igbo people are were murdered between 29th May 1966 and 12th January 1970. Had Biafra not unilaterally declared its independence in order to protect itself, the massacre would have been incalculable. Most Biafrans, especially the Igbos, were slaughtered in their homes, offices, businesses, schools, colleges, hospitals, Markets, churches, shrines, farmlands, factories, industrial enterprises, children's playground, town halls, refugee centers, cars, lorries, and at bus stations, railway stations, and airports. In the end, the genocide was enforced by Nigerian simultaneously pursued land, area, and naval block, block, blockade and bombardment of Biafran land, African highest population density region outside the Niger Delta. In other words, even in their own heartland where they had taken refuge, they were pursued and eventually subdued. The excuse then, as it were, was that Nigeria was prosecuting a war of reunification. On the contrary, 
there is quantum evidence that the war was provoked in order to accomplish the genocide that had begun against Biafrans, generally and Igbos particularly. The difference this time was to take it to their homeland where they had fled and taken refuge under the defunct Republic of Biafra. We are aware of the propaganda emanating from the Nigerian government and Northern Nigerian Islamic fundamentalists aligned with the government that the neo biafran struggle for self-determination is an ethnic backlash against President Muhammad Buhari just because he is a Hausa Fulani Muslim. We state unequivocally that this is false and petty. This truth is that the post-war struggle peaked in mid-2015 when Mr. Buhari systematically embarked on his jihadist policies, coupled with his open toleration of Fulani headsmen tourists that had simultaneously commenced an intense ethnic cleansing of Christians, including Biafrans. This was also immediately following a well-publicized comment by Mr. Buhari during his campaign for the presidency that an attack against Boko people is an attack against Northern Nigerian Muslim. Little wonder that then that Boko people terrorism has peaked to new heart since Buhari's presidency. In the face of Mr. Buhari's anti-Christian posturing and his complicit inaction to reign in on Etman and Boko people terrorists, Biafran responded by organizing themselves under a group named the Indigenous People of Biafra, led by Mazi Namdekanu, a devout Jewish adherent of dual Nigerian and British citizenship. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, see, I thought that they said that the Biafrans don't have any 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 level or any any um any any, any position or whatsoever. I thought they were pushing and placing the Biafrans at a very low low level. <laughs> Man, they, they have just started. I told them that Biafrans has gone beyond what they are seeing them to be. Biafrans have gone beyond the level that they are seeing them to be. Biafrans, what Biafrans control, believe you me, Nigeria as a country cannot control it. Biafran has gone far, far beyond Nigeria. Far, far beyond Nigerian imagination. Understand? So, they are, they are able to submit these documents consigning Nigeria to the U.S. Department, my dear. <laughs> it's a very big slap to Nigeria. They, they have not started being surprised. The next one they will submit will be the one that will make them to quickly run and give to Biaf to Biafrans that freedom that they are asking for. I'm telling you, the Biafrans are not asking for too much. What they're asking for is just a republic. Give them their republic. Give them what they're asking for. Give them their their, their, their quest. Don't, don't, don't deceive yourself. President Mubari knows about this. He's just, he's just trying to play a fast one at Nigerian. He wants his administration not, uh, uh, not to be, not to be uh, affected. He doesn't want them to know that, or he doesn't want it. To, to be that it is in his administration that the 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 the, uh, the Republic of Biafran will be achieved. Oh, so sorry about it. He will be surprised. It will come to pass. He hasn't known anything. He hasn't known anything. It will surely come to pass.
So my viewers, without much much to say, what is your take on this? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.